we've got some great more guests uh, coming up here. So I'm going to throw it back to you here. Yeah, buddy. and Chris, uh, because we do have another first year uh, guest, if you can pull up their page on the Give Local platform just so we can we I can will share do that. that. Happy Matt, to do it as we get Pleasure going. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for hanging out here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, tell me a little bit about building bridges for Brianna. This is your first year participating. First, first year. And we, so Bobby Ann, I don't know if, if you've met Bobby Ann. Bobby Ann is on the board of the White Rose Leadership Institute. They put on um, this event here. So all day I get to talk to organizations that have participated for the entire time and then new organizations. So I genuinely love you know, learning about organizations because the diversity that we have in nonprofits uh, programming in York County is, is just insane. So it's always an honor. Um, so, so yeah, let us know about uh, your organization. Yeah, um, unfortunately we started with a tragedy. Um, we started, I lost my 15 year old daughter uh, to suicide in uh, 2020. Uh, right after that, it was actually December 3rd. Uh, December 27th, we actually formed Building Bridges for Brianna. Uh, we were actually cleaning up the house. I was moving, couldn't stay in the house anymore. And about six of my friends were just in Brianna's room and we were all getting mad because yeah. we all lost somebody, you know, a loved one. Um, and we just lost a 15 year old child, you know, just because they felt they had no hope. And we realized we need to build the bridge between the people that need help and the people that can give help. Yeah. You know, and, and we, we started, you know, as a small little event, little memorial ride. We had no idea what we were doing, Yeah. you know, and now it's just erupted to, to be able to give, uh, pay for co-pays, pay for insurance, coping mechanisms, uh, therapy, all the stuff that's needed and really get the word out to break the silence and, and break the stigma of mental health. Well, and yeah, Chris, can you scroll up to the, the top quick? I'm glad you said that because that's that's what I saw too is, you know, your header image here on, on this page is, is, is breaking the silence. Um, so t talk to me a little bit about the building bridges um, concept. I mean, you're really trying to, it sounds like, sort of connect the dots for, for people that feel like they don't have that connection and access to those services and making those. So, you know, what does that look like for, for your organization? Yeah, so when I was dealing with uh, Brianna's, you know, issues, she was, she was battling for three years. Yeah. But I didn't know what resources were out in the community. It was yeah. hard to find it. Nobody was talking about it. So we really, really want to take the people that need help and connect them and build that bridge to the people that can give help. Yeah. You know, and that's really what we try to do and really strive at. Yeah, how, you know, we, um, are you from York originally? Yes. Yeah, you know, I, I'm not from York, but I've been here long enough that I, I think that they, at least some of them would adopt me. And I, you know, I, <laughs> uh, there's that very deep uh, sort of Pennsylvania Dutch culture still here that um, some would call us stubborn maybe right. some would call us insular right like talking about feelings is hard and 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 um getting out of your comfort zone is not something that historically york countyans love to do so right. it sounds like you know you're sort of encouraging them to break the silence encouraging them to have those conversations Absolutely. um you know how, how uh, i don't want to say how has the reception been because i i know that the reception has been incredible but I would imagine that it's a relief for some people to have these conversations. Absolutely. Uh, we had an event last night to kick off, give local York. Mm -hmm. And while we were there, I got up, gave my little spiel about breaking the uh, yeah. stigma. And all of a sudden people just started coming up to us. Yeah. And they're just like, thank you for talking. We heard your message. We know it's okay to talk about it. And they were just like, the whole place was just talking about mental health. Yeah. A couple of years ago, Nobody would really yeah. want to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what we just keep on trying to break that wall and take that, you know, it's okay not to be okay. Yeah. We just can't stay that way. Yeah. How do we not stay that way? Yeah. We start opening up and we start talking. You know, it's, it's, this is very related, but also will sound unrelated. I was just listening to a podcast interview with Ric Flair, right? <laughs> Obviously, oh, yeah. you know, Ric Flair. Uh, Ric Flair has uh, battled anxiety and depression for uh, 40 or 50 years, he said. And if you looked at a guy like Ric Flair, you'd be like, hey, that, he's the most confident person Absolutely. that you've ever seen. And, and he said that one of his favorite parts about living to see 2023, because many of his um, you, you know, uh, friends have lost their lives in a variety of ways, in 2023, we have those conversations. Absolutely. And, and people are willing to have those conversations. And for him, in the 80s and 90s, people thought that he was, you know, the sh showboating, high-flying, limousine-riding guy, right. right? But inside, he was battling a lot of stuff that, 
not only could he not talk about, but there wasn't really a venue for him to talk about it. And no, and 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 I'm sure for him, it felt like there was no path to have those conversations. So um, it sounds like, I mean, it, well, first of all, year one, and you're close to four grand raised already. So Absolutely. congratulations. I, I'm I'm blown away. That's yeah. awesome, man. What was the event last night? What did what did you guys do? So we just uh, we did a little pop up event at a restaurant and, and bar just to have really like kind of like a kickoff party. Yeah. You know, and it was great turnout. People came out, um, and they were just talking about it. You know, the whole room was quiet. Uh, when, when have you ever gone to a bar and, yeah. and it just be quiet? Like everybody was listening to every, every word that was being said, and then they were all just openly talking about it. It was great. That's awesome, man. Um, so you have a ten thousand dollar goal. I hope you smash it. You're already doing really, really well. I love uh, some of the matches or the um, you know one hundred fifty dollars get you this. Yes. Um, if People want to learn more about your organization um, first. How can they find out more? Yeah, so you can check us out on Facebook, uh, Building Bridges for Brianna, or our website, uh, www.bb4bpa.org. Awesome. And then if, if there's a takeaway you'd like folks to have about your organization, one thing that uh, you'd like them to keep it in their mind, what would that be? Uh, Brianna's message that we found on the shirt. If you're struggling with mental health, keep fighting. I believe in you. You are a star. All right, man. Well, I appreciate it. <laughs> Look, you got a fan, Jess, <laughs> giving you a shout out there. Kim, oh. another survivor of suicide loss. Thank you for your work. Thanks, wow. man. Awesome. I appreciate, I appreciate it. it. Thank yeah. you, guys. Yeah, thanks for hanging out with us. Nah, thank you so much. Thank uh, you. Making me cry here. I, 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 usually, I usually do that, so I apologize. For no, that. you're good, yeah. dude. It's great. Thank you, uh, it's all, you know, it's, we're all working for the same thing, and I appreciate that. Absolutely. Thanks. All right, Chris. How can, how can you not listen to a conversation like that and just, you know? Thank you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this day is such an emotional I roller coaster. Do. We it haven't is. had a break yet. We've been going live since 8 a.m. And, you know, I think we're lucky that Give Local York is only one day of 365 because it's going to take us 364 days to kind of digest everything that we've heard today. Well, you know? and I, I genuinely, it is a thing that I say, and people hear me say it, but I genuinely love having these conversations because, the, I mean, that is, that is an organization that I was completely ignorant to. Um, and now not only do we know more about them, but but the, the viewers and all of the Give Local fans and the 7,111 donors now have that information as well. One thing that I always remind nonprofits that I work with around the country of too is, um, to, st to continue to be courageous with sharing your story sometimes. You know, we get, we get to talk to a lot of really fun organizations that just, um, you know, can go on and share their story all the time, right? Uh, we'll have the SBCA in this afternoon, for yep. example. And it's just, it's very easy sometimes to talk about um, dogs and the Appel Center and all this kind of stuff. But when it comes to topics like mental health, it's so, so important to just keep, putting your story out there, um, like Matt just did. Um, keep building bridges for Brianna. And um, because we, we are stuck in this cycle of thinking that things only work on social media when you're getting comments and shares and all this engagement and stuff, and that's not what it's about. Um, because messages like what we just heard with, with you and Matt can really change or, you know, yeah, not to put the spotlight back here on Kim, but as she says, as another survivor of suicide loss, thank you for your work. Conversations like that can save somebody's life, BG. And, uh, you know, maybe I'm just getting loopy being behind the board here for five hours in a row, but um, that's what it's all about to me, man. Well, I didn't think I was going to be talking about Ric Flair today on this. <laughs> Awkward transition, but... Um, <laughs> that, oh, speaking of Ric Flair... Woo! We got a woo! Woo! $2.1 million raised, 7,130 do donors. Did you get the Ric Flair rep? I get it. Yeah, yeah, it's a woo. I get it. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> 329. Do you think Bob's a Ric Flair fan? Is we can find out. Out? He might be. I don't know. We've got to ask him tonight. Yeah. Uh, 